So next slide. Um, it's uh, not very satisfying to just always compare the uh, addresses of our references or actually addresses of objects stored by our reference uh, references simply because instead of doing this type of comparison I could have instead written simply uh, product one uh, test uh, pro whether product one uh, equals product two right so this kind of test does exactly the same thing if I save this and if I run it then you can see that the result is the same uh, and I meant to highlight this part uh, so um, uh, from this, pr this perspective uh, this is perhaps more intuitive to compare object references like this so remember when dealing with object equal equal sign uh, the comparison operator will compare object references and not uh, the any kind of logical uh, containment, uh, logical values of these objects. So therefore, uh, uh, using the equals, the default implementation of the equals method inside the object class is not very effective, and uh, it's much more interesting to actually override uh, it, its uh, uh, override its its meaning uh, by uh, redefining the equals method. So you can see this uh, slide here demonstrates that you can, uh, to override equals, uh, um, you simply implement your own. And you need to remember that uh, inside object, uh, we have this implementation, but we can uh, redefine it as public. And it obviously returns true or false. Therefore, it returns Boolean type uh, as, as a result. And it just basically says, let's compare this object to another object. So uh, um, uh, let's um, uh, let's uh, try this um, uh, this here uh, this example. I'll just copy just portion of this because I'd like to uh, use uh, uh, my own implementation of it, uh, and uh, we can quickly do this test. Mm, let's see. So if um, I was able to override it. Oops, I'm sorry, wrong place. We said inside the product we want to override the method, right? So this is where I'm going to pose, uh, to copy and paste, and um, once again source format. Okay, save this. Uh, so um, I need to um, I need to specify whether. Uh, this object is, uh, you know, equals another object. And uh, so uh, the default implementation of this uh, may be uh, that simply um, first to code defensively, right? You can, you can uh, first, um, you can first uh, check whether you're dealing with the product class, right? Because uh, if by mistake, someone is trying to compare apples and oranges, uh, you should probably instant to instantly report, uh, report false results, so basically say return false. If, right, if uh, the object that we're trying to compare is not a product, so the, the second object that we're trying to compare to is not a product, uh, uh, then we instantly say, no, those are not the same objects. But if it is a product, and this uh, test uh, works, uh, then, of course, I can basically uh, recover my object by casting it to the product type, right? So casting my object reference to the product type. And then um, I can maybe add a, a, a private, a private uh, a product name. Right, private product name, private string, uh, string name, and then I can also add a constructor. Product uh, constructor uh, will make it public, right? Public uh, product constructor, which takes a string uh, name, uh, right? And then I can define it to store. 
the attribute named name equals the uh, parameter which was passed to the constructor. So this time uh, to uh, return uh, from this equals method, I can actually compare the names and I can say a return, a return, and I can instantly say um, this uh, name dot equals, uh, I can use equals ignore case, in this case, uh, the other object, the other object name, right? So hopefully this is not uh, a confusing code that it actually makes sense to say that um, what happens is that um, we try to uh, illus illustrate uh, the, the work inside this uh, equals uh, method, what happens is that we, uh, let's say that, uh, let me actually erase some of this uh, prior drawing, uh, clear, clear this up. So uh, in a situation like this, inside this equals method, uh, basically we always get, um, we also, every object has inside a reference to itself, right? It has the reference to itself, and it's called this, right? So, so there is, uh, uh, there is uh, this. Uh, this reference here, and in every instance, there is a reference to itself named this. It's like a hidden, uh, hidden data member, which is the reference to itself. So, therefore, when I go to this method. Right, so let me just close this so that we can have more space to, to look at stuff. So when we say uh, equals, um, you need to uh, call, uh, this, this method call will occur on this instance or, or, or another instance. And so if it's called on this instance, like for instance, uh, uh, um, let me let me demonstrate this in in, in my main code. Uh, by the way, we need to fix the book because the book here has to say uh, public, right? Public uh, book. It also now needs the constructor so that it can take a string name, right? And it can delegate uh, the name. Uh, populating the name to its uh, parent, which is uh, referred to as superclass. Um, uh, superclass, uh, actually, constructor syntax simply will be take this name and construct the superclass portion of the book uh, with this specific name, right? So this time, I can go back to uh, I can go back to my main app, and uh, I still don't see that. Um, let me see if I can say view uh, view projects and just check what kind of error messages I get when I build it. Um, error uh, right there says cannot find symbol return uh, this name equals uh, ignore case uh, object name. Um, uh, yes, because um, right there it complains that um, this name object object is a product. Oh, that's strange. Let me see. Um, so we cast our object to be product, and then it says I don't have a name. Hmm. To fix this, I really need to create a, a reference of type product. Otherwise, my uh, cast doesn't work, right? So I need to recover my product by saying uh, product object uh, or just say product, right? Right here, product. Product, and this time uh, I can say product.name. Okay, so I apologize for this because I really need to, when I cast, it doesn't make sense to cast to another 
uh, you know, another class type and then uh, store it uh, back as, a, as an object. So I do need uh, to create a separate reference for that specific case. Uh, so, um, and we started demonstrating that if this method in the main app, so let me see if uh, this now is uh, free of any problems. So there another problem here is to say that a constructor book in class book cannot be applied. Oh yes, uh, so now that I, I when I create books, right, I need to provide the name. Okay, I can do that. Uh, I don't know fiction. I uh, I don't know why I turn on caps fiction book. Um, where else do I create the pro when I create a product? So here I will say uh, widget, right? That I'm creating, and here I will say gadget that I'm creating. So now I'm 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 okay with that. Um, and um, so when I say uh, I really have two choices, I can say product one equals product two, or I can say and then you know write my code. Uh, accordingly, or I can do uh, if uh, product two uh, equals uh, product one, right? So I have those two choices, uh, and uh, they're basically uh, executed exactly the same way. It's just that uh, I can invoke a method when I'm running my equals method. I can invoke a, a method on product one or product two, right? So so then if if I say uh, product one equals product two, then basically product one because becomes a this inside the method, right? So uh, this is this can be product one or product two, uh, depends on which object um, instance this uh, uh, instance uh, method was invoked, All right? So. Uh, this is a very typical example of the code using instance, and of course many objects will overwrite the equals method. In my case, I am implementing my equals as comparing names of the product uh, with uh, uh, and ignoring the case. So that is a logical uh, comparison, not comparison of addresses. So when I run this, uh, I get P1 does not equal P2, so now I can do my demonstration uh, that uh, uh, if, if I use the equal uh, method this time, and although I know that product one and product two are two different objects because we use new twice, right, but if I make them both a widget or gadget or something else, they will uh, print that uh, uh, the products are equal, right? So uh, we can say logical uh, logical comparison uh, p equal uh, p one equals p two uh, is true, right? Or is false? So to make it true, I will make them both a gadget right there, right? And so therefore, this should work just fine if I run this. Right, so logical comparison of P1 and P2 now becomes true simply because um, I created uh, two products with the same name, and of course I've overridden the method equals. Um, this time it does logical comparison of some values. So this can be extremely helpful if you want to, uh, if you want your objects to be sortable. Right? So to be comparable so you can sort a collection of these objects.